It has been, I think, a long debate we've had, and I'm grateful to all noble lords who have stayed the course and are still here. I think it shows how much this House values the importance of the work we do, but also the issue on which we are debating. Passions run very high on this issue in your Lordship's House, as they do across the country, and it's not surprising uh, that passions have been high today. Um, I don't think that carrying on through 24 or 48 hours, as we have been doing, in a sort of pathetic attempt to set a new Guinness World Record of consecutive votes in your Lordship's House uh, would do anybody uh, any favours. I'm very pleased uh, that I will not be needing uh, to use my duvet. <laughs> my Lords, I'm very grateful for uh, what has been said. Um, I did have my toothbrush as well. Um, I think we were in a good place some hours ago, actually. And the wise thing in this House is always to reach agreements. And I think I do believe I speak for many of uh, my colleagues, all I believe, um, who never had any intention to frustrate. Now, I understand the anxieties. It was not an easy decision to decide that we should table a motion to ensure that we could continue our deliberations and conclude them in good time for the Bill. We recognise that such a business motion is a wholly exceptional response to very unusual circumstances of the imminent prorogation, and we hope it wouldn't be treated as a precedent, as I said earlier, or have to be deployed again. Certainly if another attempt is ever made to bring forward a guillotine motion of this kind, it can expect the same sort of resistance, irrespective of the issue concerned. And I thank all my colleagues who have stayed and supported and voted and thought. I thank them all, and I hope that they too will also support 100%, as I do, the spirit and letter of the agreement, and I thank all those involved. For the avoidance of doubt, um, uh, we are not going to be taking the rest of the business tonight. <laughs> House to now adjourn.